There are a lot of layers. I mean, you've got the you've got the insanity, you've got the absurdity, you've got this great sort of um, 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 storyline, through line, drive. Um, but at the very base, the very foundation of it, I mean, is 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 is, is a super sort of a uh, core uh, concern, I mean, that, that is something that, you know, we'll be dealing with in uh, years to come, which yeah. is, you know, it, you know, what, what are the real riches of the earth? Is it gold? Is it silver? Is it, is it diamonds? Is it whatever, you know? No, it's water and it's air and it's, you know, so, um, I mean, that as a kind of foundation for a film like this, um, I think it's beautifully done. I think Gore really, really took this type of film to another level. It was it was insane, you know, because it was it was like playtime. You know, we felt like we were doing, uh, uh, you know, uh, regional, uh, really bad regional theater, or you know, even like you know, the bad school play. Um, uh, but uh, it, it gave us all the opportunity to sort of mess around, and uh, and uh, you know, it wasn't just a reading. It was it was situational, and um, and and that that gave us a lot. And it was a kind of a great challenge, you know, because there was a part of this of this character, which is, you know, a lizard, um, and and the and the very sort of idea of that he is a chameleon, um, and that is a key to what we all um, in life ultimately end up having to do is, you know, the, the, there is a chameleon in all of us, and we because we have to adapt um, to people's personalities, to to various situations, to you know, adapt uh, in terms of survival, um, and, 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 and that's sort of, that was the, formed the, I guess, the basis of this character. Gore and Crash and all that, you know, they pretty much had it all sussed out, you know, I mean, uh, you know, uh, he, he consulted me on a few things, you know, uh, um, you know, there, there's this sort of, there was a, yeah, um, a, a kind of a Rat Pack quality that we wanted from this guy, you know, uh, you know, in terms of you know the Hawaiian shirt and the, you know that kind of thing, uh, the martini, or you know, um, but yeah, no, Gore, Gore pretty much had it all all planned out. I mean, reverence, you know, as this as this entity is is something that Gore and I both have a, a, a you know a. a a tremendous connection to you know, and 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 you know, hence some of the uh, more um, really insane bits in in some of the pirates films. You know, finding the rock, licking the rock, the thing becomes a crab. You know, <laughs> you know all that kind of stuff. Um, that just comes from you know Gore and myself riffing. You know, just sitting around and riffing. You know, what can we do? And the nose and the peanut and all that stuff. Um, I think that the, I think that irreverence is um, not only necessary uh, in film and in life or whatever, but uh, but healthy. <laughs> you know, it must be there. It must exist. You know, I think because because Gore's sense of timing, his sense of you know uh, of what he's doing and what he's got, um, and what he wants to say is so so strong. Um, uh, he's so confident in it that, you know, he, he knows the exact amount of time to stick into something. I mean, you know, when, when Rango smashes into the mirror and it's, you know, Raul Duke driving, you know, suddenly you're in fear and loathing in Las Vegas uh, for that split second and bang, you're out. Um, that, I think, is, I mean, that, that kind of, uh, you know, sort of uh, uh, cultural reference is um, it's just enough, you know, you just get just enough, and you go, okay, I got that, bang, next, you know, and you get all these killer little uh, morsels.